that demon? Easy sentinels, come on. Guard break. Oh, what? He got out of it. The other one didn't. Yeah, really? Alright, don't fall. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> let's, the other let's, one. Just, let's just try and not, not try hard this time. The other one can get ganked up here, too. Right. There. I'm thinking. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm, I'm going jumping down. down. Okay, me yeah. too. <laughs> Perfect. Screw this. I'm running away. Oh god. Damn it. Are you? No. Not cute. Oh, they're both after you now. Oh wait, no. No, they are both after you. Yeah, they were. What is it with all these enemies and the fact that they completely cold shoulder me? I'm a bit upset by that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, nah, not worth it. Must kill the delinquent. Alright, oh, he's... Oh, I guess... Never mind, you know how to do this. Come on, come on. I go power you. Come on, bring it. Nope, not that attack. He's after... Come on. Nope, still... Okay, good. They've totally split up between us. It's perfect. Alright. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Parry spam, no. Still alive. <laughs> and an emote for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, well, goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Trey. Enjoy your food. Hi, Nestessi. Jillian, hey, what's up? Hey, Nestessi. How are you doing? Uh -oh. Are you asking me, Rise of Demon? Um, by the cops, I mean like when you pay Lycia to move the wall and you go through in the rotunda, I think it's called. Alright, see you later, tree. <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, oh, it's fine. I'm gonna go grab the large club because I'm, I'm feeling like I might enjoy oh, yeah. using that weapon. <laughs> I forgot to get that. I'll go Great hammers my... are my all-time favorite weapon. They're just so satisfying to use. Pancake. Where should we head off to now? Oh yeah, you have been to the cops. Because in order to do Iron King, you had to go through the cops. Killian, if I were to buy two LC um, DLCs, I'd probably buy all three as a package if you can. <laughs> oh yeah, it's cheaper it's, that way. It's cheaper. Also, all three DLCs are worth it. Um, they each have something which can definitely connect with at least um, every kind of person that likes Dark Souls 2. Whether you like Labyrinth style or mazes or something that's just one, one thing one way and then the next time you go through it, it looks completely different. All three DLCs have something to offer. Says me as if I'm a promoter for Dark Souls 2. <laughs> <laughs> please buy, please buy now. I get commission. Um. Okay, so... Who did we just get? We got Sentinels. Or, um, I guess we should go to Shaded Woods or the cops. Let's let's do the cops. The let's cops. do the cops. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I lost my notebook. Oh, there it I don't is. I want to upgrade the Craftsman's hammer. Yeah, I might just leave it for now. I think I'm gonna use my twinkling on Drangleic's sword. Actually, that's a good idea. Wait, I uh, went and got it? I forgot to grab it. Oh my gosh. Uh, Drangleic's sword, what do I need for that? Um, 20, 20, 25, 20. Oh yeah, I can't use it anyways. Yeah. It'd be a good investment though, I think. Yeah. 
I, I want to use oh. it for sure. Yeah, I'll upgrade my strength, dex, and endurance a bit. Okay. And I think I bought. Did I buy the cat ring yet? Well, I guess I don't need to yet, actually. Okay. No. Okay, I'm heading towards the Huntsman's Cop, so. Okay. Um, I've got my large club ready. <laughs> Is that. Here. Let me see. Hi, Lackey. Hey, Lackey. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Steven has a point there. Although I do love the Sin fight, I have to say, I really love the Sin fight. I, it just feels like fighting an actual dragon. Because every time you do fight a dragon, either they, um, they fly spam like the Guardian dragon does, and you're in a cage, so it's a little bit unfair. Um, or you fight against, um, what's his name, Calamite in Dark Souls 1, and because he flies so rarely, because obviously he's been shot down, it just feels like um, a kind of um, quadruped boss. Their sin just makes you feel like he's he's a dragon. He's going to abuse everything he can about being a dragon against you. Yeah, that's that's true. I really like Calamite. I love I love the Calamite fight, and it, yeah. it's so rewarding if you beat him because it's not easy. Well, I didn't find it easy at all. I um, spammed the gold tracer and silver tracer on him. Oh, okay, I used a. I haven't fought him very many times. I think I used a Uchi Katana. I have to say my two favorite boss fights were Artorius and Manus. Yeah, Artorius. I, Artorius um, was epic and Manus, I didn't have any idea about the pendant and my husband mm. didn't tell me anything about it because he just said like, I'm letting you do this DLC. And <laughs> I just took the hits and just kept mashing on him and it took me so many tries. Go ahead. Wow. Yeah, I can't, I don't know, I can't play a Souls game blind. I might with Bloodborne though. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Bloodborne without looking at any kind of, the only thing I've but, seen is what but, everyone else has seen, like the Cleric Demon. Mm -hmm. After um, seeing which, Jason struggle through Dark Souls, it, I just felt like I couldn't play it blind myself. Yeah, Dark Souls 1 really um, yeah. turned me off at the first time I played it because I just had no idea. In terms of direction, I, I get very confused very yeah. quickly. So when my housemate was like, oh no, you have to use this key to get here and there, I was like, when was the game going to tell me this? Like, what's going on? <coughs> Give me a hint, please. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so a few minutes, was... actually. Hmm? So he was totally lost, and I was just helping him. Like, I ended up helping him through the game. Yeah, oh, because really? of Yeah, because of, like, I was looking up stuff on the wiki and looking at maps and looking at where items were. Like, he, he, he started out as a sorcerer, and he had no idea of where to get magic or a catalyst or anything. Yeah. So he was dying yeah, constantly, kinda... because a sorcerer is a difficult... Yeah, you kind of have to do that for, um... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, unless you're new <laughs> to the series, exactly. They're fun when you know how the, mind, the mindset of the makers. But because we were brand new, he was yeah, getting yeah. really frustrated. Uh... Yeah, that, I felt the same way. I, the first time I played it, I just stopped um, after uh, just two or three bosses. And then when I went back to it, it was after Dark Souls 2. And I had way better time with the game just because I understood the, like, the ideas and mechanics behind the, the way they set you up to be quite confused without any kind of guide. And I enjoyed it a lot more. Although I did go for the um, epic name bro, gold hemmed great scythe deal. <laughs> and the, the, that part of the game, the first part of the game was really easy. Because I cheesed it. Yeah. <laughs> as, as you do. I, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember epic name bros. I don't think I saw his playthrough of that one. I just saw his demon souls. Oh, my, my housemate just wouldn't be mm. quiet about him. <laughs> He's, oh. You have to look at this. He's using this weapon. You have to use it. I was like, can't you do it and leave me to use what, this this weapon here? <laughs> I like I like Solaire. I want to dress like yeah. him. <laughs> I know. It's like you had to kill him. Oh, I know, but it's totally <laughs> worth it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where's your sign or where am I put, where are we meeting? I'm sorry. My, the first or the second? Is, my sign is at the second bonfire. Okay. I gotta run there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, that's fine.
Another one of my favourite bosses, weirdly, mainly because of the boss music, is um, Executioner Chariot. Oh, because no matter yeah. what NG you're on, it's kind of the same difficulty. Yeah. Apart from that red phantom blocking the gate, which is right. just unfair. I like that boss fight. I hardly ever... I hardly ever fight him, though, because... <laughs> I always skip that area in a death list, of course. Yeah, I haven't... Um, I did it once on my first NG death list. I went and revisited the Executioner uh -huh. Chariot and the, the Gargoyles, just because oh, okay. I was such a high level for them, but it was a bit risky still. Almost there. Just going down the ladder. Also. Is your sign down? Yeah, it is. Okay, I see it. Perfect. Okay, divorce you. I'll try not to. Yeah, Brulaire, me too. His tracking just. And he's also very good at his PvP. <laughs> his delayed attacks always catch me as well. Who who would you say is your um, lead, like the boss you struggle with the most on, on like both Dark Souls one and two, Noel? Fume Knight. Really? Yeah. Like I yeah, he's tough. Like I, I love the fight, so I, I find it really hard not to bias feel biased towards him by just being like, no, he's he's not the hardest because I love him. <laughs> <laughs> but but he's he's so unforgiving, especially yeah. in the first few times you fight him. And I don't know how many people have been in the same boat where you get him down to one or two hits to go and then he kills you. Yeah, yeah. I get that way with Alon actually. Um, oh. Alon always, it always remains on like one hit point or something and then yeah. just kills me. Real upsetting. <laughs> I have to remember to use these burrs, Andy, like during the... Um... Higher, like Iron King or um, the Dragon. Yeah. Need to use the I Red Burr. I never use them just because I forget they exist. Exactly, to be honest. I forget too. But they you don't, so useful. You don't need it in NG. That's why. Yeah, of course. But especially for the Guardian. Yeah, Guardian Dragon and Iron King. That Iron King is just it makes my palms sweat. Just oh, especially yeah. on the Deathless runs. And I, I never used to worry about him. I always used to like mock him and think, oh, it's fine because. <laughs> when you're not playing a death list, if you fall in the hole, you're like, oh, well, we'll try again, no win. Exactly, it's not a big deal. Yeah, but when I got to um, NG++++ and did the Iron King and just got pixel pushed into the hole, I was completely gutted, but I knew that I'd, I'd played a bit too nervously, and it, yeah. it just happens that way. Wearing my full havels like a complete scrub lord, falling into the hole. <laughs> <in> the <basket. laughs> full havels. Full Havels fall, it fell in the hole. I, I got what I deserved, to be honest. I gotta have better armor than this. You have any... I'll be too heavy. If you, you, yeah. Oh well, I'll and just also, leave it. The fashion on Drown Lake Mail without wearing a headpiece or legs is, is a little <laughs> bit lackluster. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, you know what? I forgot to pick up no? the Drown Lake stuff, so... Oh, uh, do you want me to drop it for you? Because I don't wear it. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll just okay. take what I have. I could drop you the legs and wear the gloves and we can share. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, you I'll drop them now. Um, legs. Oh, yeah. You know what? I should be wearing Zeldora set too, if that's, so that way we stay in the same soul memory. Or that's maybe, a good idea. maybe it won't make too much of a difference right now, but I'll, I'll go get it. After yeah, this. especially in especially in the, the later bosses. Is that where you put it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prism Stone OP. Mm -hmm. I forget. I can scroll up through chat now. Hi, Angry Swan. I need to pay more attention to the chat. I'm so bad with it. It's I, yeah, I have, have to learn so much to respect. Yeah, <laughs> so much respect because it's just like a constant <laughs> look forward and back. Perfect, thank as, you. That's great. That's all right. As I know, as a viewer, like it especially makes a difference when um, if you're watching a streamer and they're paying attention to chat. It just it, for some reason it just feels so much more immersive in a way when.